become a successful goat farmer, there are some basic factors you need to consider before starting a goat farming. This week on The Ghanaian Farmer, we are bringing to you the story of a young man who has been in this business for a very long time with a lot of experience to share. My name is Daniel and this is Ghanaian Farmer. Share your views with us on our social media platform, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram and YouTube, The Ghanaian Farmer. This program is proudly brought to you by Lizzie Tomato Mix. We are going for a quick breather. When we come back, we'll engage the God farmer who has been in this for a very long time for you to know what and what you have to put in place, what breed you would start with and what kind of feed is good for a goat to develop as quick and fast as you expect. And stay tuned, I'll be right back after this. Agriculture is the food basket of a nation and therefore the heart of Ghana. It contributes up to 54% of Ghana's GDP and account for over 40% of export earnings, at the same time providing over 90% of the food need of the country. This is due to the hard work of the Ghanaian farmer. Join me and your name as we visit the farm, the market and agricultural based industries. That's not all, we will also bring you recipes for finger licking delicacies made with crops grown by the Ghanaian farmer. The Ghanaian farmer. Business tilling the land. Thanks for joining me. If you're just tuning in, you're watching The Ghanaian Farmer on Joy Prime. My name is Anya Nam. Share your views with us on our social media platform. Are you aspiring to go into goat farming? This is the right episode to watch. But the interesting part is my guest happens to be a professional teacher and also a farmer let's get to understand what this inspiration where he drives it from akomia i only remember akomia is denny so right yes please thanks for joining me welcome now to start with what ignited the idea of attaching farming into the school yeah we wanted to develop a model of a, a new model of education in ghana by uh, getting our private school or our project to be free so in order to get the project to be free you have to make sure some of these uh, expenses or expenditure when it comes to feeding and other stuff mm -hmm. becomes less so in that instance we are having 32 acre land so we decided to make it free or i decided to make it free by farming on them to feed the kids why settled on goats when you want to go into livestock okay we have the goat sheep cow uh poultry and all that why settled on goats yeah i settled on goat because um when you look at the market uh kumasi especially during the festive season they buy a lot of goats and then uh, looking at where we are we can do more goat farming than any other that's why i chose goats okay when you are about to start how many goats did you start with? I started with um, two female goats and then one. Yeah. Two female goats, yes. one male. Yeah. Okay. Um, how much did it cost you for those two female of goats and one male? It was around um, 600 cities. For the three? For the three. 600? Yes, please. Okay. How long did it take before the female started giving birth? Within a year. Within a year, yeah. all the two give birth. Yes. How many did each goat have? Two. The first one had two, uh -huh. and then the second one had two. Okay. So they, we got four, mm. including their mothers and six. Mm. So we started the multiplication from there. Okay. So it means that is how it started growing. Yes, please. Okay. How would you go by feeding the goats day to day? And how many times do you feed them in a day? Um, actually, we have a, a plan for them since we are doing organic farming. Mm -hmm. We have the grazing period, mm -hmm. and then we have when they come to the uh, the house. Um, how we, we we also where you are keeping them. Yes. What time do you open them to go and feed, and what time do they come back? For someone who doesn't know much, so if I have a goat farm, or if I'm about to start a goat farm, what time in the morning do I allow them to go and feed, and then bring uh, bring them back, or let them come back? Yeah, we um, we open them around eight thirty. In the morning. In the morning. Okay. And then um, around 4:30, they themselves will come back, <laughs> and then we just get them to the thing. Okay. 
They have free feet. They How about feet. water? How do they drink water? Do you have access So before to water they come uh -huh. back to their house, mm -hmm. we have water and other stuff. Mm -hmm. We just put them there and then the moment they get inside, mm -hmm. they start drinking from there. Okay, I see. Interesting. Now, I also want to know, the goats are in one place. Yes, Both please. male and female. Yes, please. Isn't that any, any challenge in there? Not really, because looking at... Uh, uh, what you've done so mm -hmm. far, you've not had any challenge, you've not gotten any challenge. Okay, so it's been six years since you started? Yes, please. Okay, have you sold any yet? Yeah, of course. Okay, so how much will you sell this particular one? Um, this one, when you take it to the market, it will be around 450, 500 cities. 450, 500? Yes, please. For one? Yes, please. So, considering how much you've invested and how many goats you have now, would you say a goat farming is profitable? Yes, I would say so, because um, when you do and do it well, you get a, a, a much better returns out of okay. that. I'm told there are different types of goats, okay? Which ones are this? We, have the so -called, we are using the so-called um, dwarf. So-called? Dwarf. Okay. Yeah. There are ones that are very tall yes. and they, their necks are very long. Yes, please. You don't have that type? No, we don't. Why do you choose this one over the other one? Uh, the market <laughs> of those goods are really, really not good. Minimum? Yep. As compared to this? Yes, please. Okay, so that's why you go for this yes, one? Yes, please. Okay, that's fine. Another thing I also want to know, has there been any day or any time that you realized the goats were unwell? Oh, yes. So many times. Okay, and, and at those times, what do you do? Um... When it, when it comes to that, uh, we, we get what we call the local uh, uh, medicine. Okay. We don't use the uh, other chemicals to treat them when they are sick. Mm. We use just normal trees and other stuff to mm. just hold them. Okay. So the moment you see mm. they are uh, they changing, then you have to just get them those kind of trees and other stuff to just mm. chew. Mm. And in about a daytime, mm -hmm. you see they are normal. To go and go back again. Okay. So Dennis, I was asking the students you teach, do you bring them to the farm at times and what do you teach them? What do they come to learn? Yeah, they are mostly on the farm. Mm -hmm. At least every day mm -hmm. they come to the farm. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we have a program we do um, student agriculture sustainability program mm -hmm. where we do inculcate and teach them the practicality of whatever we are doing on the farm. Mm -hmm. So that um, since majority or uh, most of them, are, uh, their parents are farmers. Mm -hmm. When they go, they try and educate them about whatever we are teaching them. Mm. So I will say obviously, every day we get students on the farm mm. to teach them our model of farming mm. as well. Okay. Coming from Ejusso a, a, a to this place is quite a journey. Yes, sir. When it's time for you to sell the goats, how do you do it? Do you bring the marketers here or you transport it to the market? Yeah, so what I mostly do is at times I'll go to Kumasi mm -hmm. to find the marketers. Mm -hmm. And then there will be an instance you go and then you don't get them. Mm -hmm. So you have to just transport them mm -hmm. to Kumasi yourself mm -hmm. to get sell it or mm -hmm. you just sell them by yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you're just tuning in, you're watching The Ghanaian Farmer. My name is Enyana. Today my guest happens to be a professional teacher and also a farmer, Dennis Odro. Akomia, and he's telling us a lot more about what ignited the idea to go into goat farming. I'm going for 60 seconds on a Greek. Let's get to know what is happening in the agriculture sector. When I come back, I'll wrap it up with Dennis, but a technical person would also be joining us to tell us more about the technicalities when it comes to goat farming. Stay tuned. I'll be right back.
weekends on our Greg. This is still Ghanaian farmer on Joy Prime. Share your views with us. Are you aspiring to become a goat farmer? This is the right episode to watch. And if you want the number of Dennis, I'll definitely con connect him to you to help you on how to go about it. Dennis, coming back to you, as a teacher and a goat farmer, how do you find time to prepare your lecture notes and also pay attention to the goat as well and ensure they are in good health? Yeah, so uh, the moment uh, you come to school in the morning, you know, you have class and then you have your goods to attend. Mm. And then it's not always that you'll be in class. Mm. So most of the time, mm. you use most of our leisure time to just come and see the goods. Mm. And then you use the teaching time mm. to prepare mm. the lesson notes. Mm. And at times we do all, uh, what I also do is I prepare them in the night mm. and then daytime mm. I can go to class and teach and attend to the goods as well. Awesome. So the structure in which you have the goat farm, we didn't talk about it. There is a mini structure, a cubicle. If I want to start my goat farm as well, how much do I need to put this together? For someone who is aspiring to start a goat farm, oh. the wood, the roof, the nails, and even the carpenter who put it together. Let's have an estimate. Roughly um, 700, 800 cities. Can put this structure together for me? Okay. You're sure? Yes, please. Okay. Right. Now let's move on. What is the way forward? Are you looking at extending this becoming a commercial goat farm for the school or you're just still maintaining it this way to feed yourself and probably sell some during christmas season so as i said um the project is free okay um we are looking forward or i'm looking forward to just make it commercial one mm -hmm. and then um, in about two three years to come mm -hmm. uh, many who are in the country mm -hmm. you won't go mm -hmm. the moment you die a number mm -hmm. we can just send them to you mm -hmm. So we are looking forward to make it commercial. Okay. Do you at a point slaughter it to uh, package it and go and sell, or you always sell it in this form for it to be, you know, taken care of by the one who bought it? Yeah, that is the plan. Okay. But for now. That's the long term plan. Yes, that's the okay. long term plan. Right. But for now, mm -hmm. we normally sell them in this state. Okay. Yeah. Which um, female and male? Normally, when you go to the market, which one do they buy more? Uh, mostly the male. Why? Um, because uh, they are ready to chop, I'll put it that way. But some of um, we have customers, mm. the moment they come and they, they see them to mm -hmm. be females, mm. they might think they are pregnant. Okay. So they don't want to call a pregnant goat or ah. something like that. Ah. So but aren't you able to detect when a goat is pregnant and not? Yeah, I can do that, but okay. the, the buyer may not. Okay. But the moment you tell the buyer maybe the goat is not pregnant, mm -hmm. he or she may doubt you. Mm. So at times they prefer the male one. Mm. That one, no complications. You just get it and then go straight away. Okay. Talking about pregnancy, how long does a goat get pregnant for before giving birth? Five months. Okay. Yeah. And after delivery, how long does it take the baby goat? What do you call a baby goat? <laughs> do you have a name for a baby goat? <laughs> <laughs> I, I mostly name them after a uh, stubborn human being. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Interesting. How long does it take them to grow, maybe let's say to this level? Um... Approximately three months too. Okay. Yeah. It would grow. Yeah. Okay. Looking at how they are being fed and right. other stuff. Okay. They grow faster. Okay. Yeah. Now agriculture is back in the days, people assume or we mostly assume agriculture is reserved for the uneducated. But look at you. You are an educated person, a graduate, a professional teacher, and yet you are, you know, moving into farming. What would be that key word you want to share with people who are watching? especially the unemployed who are still waiting for a white collar job. Yeah, I would say uh, there is hope in agriculture. Mm. There is hope in animal farming. Mm. So you shouldn't wait till uh, the government gives you a job before you can start something. So my advice or my... Uh, I would say advice. Yeah, sure. So advice is uh, to the young or the upcoming graduates Wherever you find yourself, irrespective of the place, irrespective of the area, you are supposed to make something of your own. Mm. At least it will take you to 300, 400 cities. Mm -hmm. At least when you calculate the number of credit or mm. the amount of credit you buy in mm. a month, mm. you can just make a reduction of that and then you save it to make an impact in whatever uh, adventure or whatever project you want to get mm. back on. Mm. And then you'll be successful with it. Mm. There you have it, an exciting and insightful conversation 
at his hard worth, Dennis Odro Akomia, a professional teacher and a farmer. This is an initiative that, together with his team, they have introduced to feed the student as also sell some to take care of the administration work right here in Rio Su Bronga. I have four, I have four, a north, south, west, west district. My name is Enyanam. Coming up is a little more detailed conversation with a farm manager who will tell you a little bit more difference between this type of goat and the other ones we see in the market and what to start with in case you are aspiring to become a good farmer. Let's hear from you if you're watching us now on Joy Prime. The repeat is on Thursday at 10 p.m. and subscribe to our YouTube channel the Ghanaian farmer. I'll be right back after this. Stay tuned. Agriculture is the food basket of a nation and therefore the heart of Ghana. It contributes up to 54% of Ghana's GDP and accounts for over 40% of export earnings, at the same time providing over 90% of the food need of the country. This is due to the hard work of the Ghanaian farmer. Join me and your name as we visit the farm, the market and agricultural based industries. That's not all, we will also bring you recipes for finger licking delicacies made with crops grown by the Ghanaian farmer. The Ghanaian farmer, business tilling the land. Thanks for joining me again on the Ghanaian farmer. My name is Anyonam and we are still having a conversation on goat farming and joining me now is Amwatin. Yes, his name is very long, so I prefer to call him Amwatin. He's a farm manager for Alma Mata Farms, a goat farm, right here in an educational institute. Amwatin, thanks for joining me. So mm. I want us to understand the difference between the other goats, the one with the long neck, what do you call it? Anlo Numba goat. Okay. And this one you said is called Nigerian dwarf goat. Right. Why would you advise uh, goat farmers to start off with this? Well, you see, in our part of this world, um, the local breeds are very resistant to diseases. Okay. And in terms of feeding, mm -hmm. they can feed on anything, anything okay. which you, you give to them. Right. But those ones, uh, you have to be more particular with what they eat yes, and all that. Yes. But can you can you do the two together? Sure, you can. You can do all the you two? You can. Okay. Now, when you go to the market, among these two, which one is more expensive? Well, the Anglo, one. yeah, the foreign breeds are more expensive than this one. But uh -huh. if you read it and read it well, right. you will get twice the price of the foreign breeds. Okay. Back in the city, we have limited space. So most of the goat farmers keep it in an enclosed area. Now, in a rural area, it's free to go and feed and come back any time, any day. Now, does it have any disadvantage if you're wearing goats and you keep it in an enclosed place? Sure, it does. Uh, one of the major disadvantages is cost involved. Okay. Uh, and the labor, too, right. um, is a problem mm. because you'll be keeping them as is intensive mm -hmm. way of system of farming. Mm. You have to get someone who will go out, get their fees, mm -hmm. come mm. and feed them mm. on time. Mm. So if you, you, you do not get someone who will do this work, this particular work for you, uh, it will be very difficult for you to rear a goat in, in an in intensive system of farming. Okay, so that is it. Yeah. Now, is there any disease that affects goats? Sure. They what are they? They get attacked by diseases, especially uh -huh. as you see these young ones. The small one over the, there. The small one over yeah. there. You see their drops should be in that right way. Right at the bottom. Yeah. It has to fall off. It, it, ha it has to fall off. Okay, so when you spot things like that, it means there's a problem. Th there's a problem. Okay. And wh what we normally do here mm -hmm. is that um, we have Moringa plantation here. Okay. So we just go for it mm. and add it to their water mm. and other medicinal uh, stuffs. Mm -hmm. We add it to them and give it to them. Okay. Uh, the doctors that take care of livestock, they are the veterinary doctors, yes. right? Yes. Do you have any of them in this area? Yeah, we do, but... Do they visit here, your farm? Here in Amamata, we are practicing uh, organic farming. farming. So anything we do here, uh -huh. 
is all about organic. Okay. So we we normally take advice from them, but right. we don't get um, mm. vaccines mm. for them from their side. Okay, so you use the local way of treating. Yeah, treating. If it. I should start a goat farming, your your partner who left told me about one male, two female. How soon do I start getting my money back if I should start a goat farming? Well, let's say in about three, four years. Okay. Yeah. Three, four years. Three, four I'll start years. recouping my investment. Sure. Okay. I see. That's a long time. Yeah, I don't have that patience. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, um, as a technical person, apart from the normal grass that the goat feed on, if I happen to be in the city, what else do I give to the goat to grow well and all that? Well, we normally go to house mm -hmm. to bring their, um, uh, let me say, plantain right. leaves, uh, leaves okay. and the, that of cassava peels okay. so that we, they we eat feed that them. Yeah. Okay. They, they eat that one right. too. As a technical person, is there anything we can do with goat's feces? Sure. As I told you earlier on, we are practicing organic farming here. Okay. So anything we do here is organic. It's not so we, yeah. You turn it around we, for something good. Yes. We use it at uh, manion. The goat, maybe the goat to prepare okay. the land right. mm -hmm, for um, our next um, planting. planting. Okay. I see. Interesting. Now we are about to wrap up our conversation. Um, someone might be watching you from maybe abroad or here in Ghana and wants to go into goat farming. What would be that maybe three or five main advice would you give to such a person? Well, I would say if anyone has the intention to enter into this business, mm -hmm. I would say it's a good one. Mm -hmm. Because during um, Christmas time or festive period, mm -hmm. uh, we don't have Demand. a situation where mm -hmm. we would say uh, it has been in abundance. So the price will reduce, right. the price will maintain or go up. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of um, profit in goat rearing. Okay. And also, if someone wants to enter into this business, uh, there are a lot of advantages in it. Mm -hmm. Especially their dropouts mm -hmm. can be used mm -hmm. as fertilizer mm -hmm. for other field mm -hmm. works and a whole lot. Mm -hmm. A whole lot. Okay. Lastly, before we wrap up, you, men you mentioned about hit period and service period. Can you quickly explain that to my viewers? Well, the service period is a period where um, the female goat and the male goat will be on heat. Okay. So within that period, you have to service the female goat with the male. You have to service the female goat with the male goat okay. so that they can mate. Okay. And the heating period starts from um, four hours to four, 48 hours okay yeah so that pregnancy can, or okay. gestation can okay yeah. but how will i know my goat is on heat what noise will it make well at times uh, where the dropouts comes from you will see some signs it, it will turn into reddish for the male or the female the female okay and in the maze too you you will see that there will be mountain the other other females and ah, even so even can, even the male, the Why females to uh -huh. the females to mount on hey. females so that that thing when they show that sun uh -huh. it will tell you that they, want they to are on dirty. heat yeah hey <laughs> so I go to cry our feelings can you imagine <laughs> okay so uh, we are going to wrap up our interview now you heard it all from Amwating am I right sure now he <laughs> said he is the farm manager at Alma Mata Farm here in. Real soon. <laughs> My name is My name is Sanya. Many thanks to Lizzie Tomato Mix for always sponsoring us. If you're shopping for the home, I always advise that make sure you get your Lizzie Tomato Mix to prepare all your meal from granite soup, jollof, gravy, light soup. It gives your meal a great taste and also make it delicious. If you want to be a distributor, just contact the numbers displayed on your screen and they will come to your doorstep to deliver it. Thank you so much for staying with us. Next week, we'll come your way again with another powerful farmer to tell you what you need to know about that line of farming. But for now, it's a bad.